What's going on, family? It's your brother, Robert. So I was watching some football highlights today, and, and one of the announcers talked about the probability of my team making the playoffs. They said, even though my team had been doing well recently, their, their probability was about 17%. So it was highly improbable that they will make the playoffs just based on percentages. But there's another improbable situation that occurred in Luke chapter one. An improbable situation that actually became probable. It says in Luke chapter one, verse 57 and 58. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth and she bore a son. And her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. So if you know anything about the first chapter of Luke, it starts out with Luke saying that he's going to provide an ordered um, account to this old great Theophilus. Then it jumps right in to the story of a man named Zechariah. And Zechariah has an interaction with an angel. And the angel tells him in verse 13, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. And your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. Hmm. So we see the, the woman having the baby, and then we also see the angel proclaiming it. But And, and so that would seem pretty normal, nothing special there, until you realize that both Elizabeth and Zachariah were very old in age. They were beyond the age of giving birth to children, which makes this an improbable situation. But we read in verse 57 that the Lord allowed them to have the baby. What I want to encourage you with today is that even if an improbable situation arises, the Lord can allow the possibility of that situation to come to fruition. If I can say it a different way, what the Lord says will happen, will happen, even if it's improbable. Let me say that one more time. What the Lord says will happen in his word, those things spoken of to you in your hearts from the 66 books of the Bible, whatever he says, no matter how improbable it may be, if he says it, it will happen. So the question I want to pose for you today with that, with that bold statement is, what improbable situation are you waiting on? What improbable situation are, have you lost hope that the Lord can answer? What improbable situation have you lost complete faith that it will come to pass? Well, let me encourage you today. That if the Lord says it, said it in his word, it will happen. It happened here for Elizabeth and Zechariah, and it will happen for you too. All we have to do is trust, have faith, and believe in what God has said. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, there are many improbable situations that we face on a daily basis. And a lot of them don't line up with your word. But for the ones that do, give us the hope, give us the strength, and help us to know that they will come to pass. Because what you say you will do, you will do. Lord, we trust you in our weakness. Give us the hope that we need and allow us to continue to lead we love you we praise you we thank you in jesus name we pray amen so thank you for studying with me come back we got a couple more devotionals in luke chapter one god bless you.